Well, good morning. I'm uh, heading out of town here. I don't know. Go go on a little bird hunt. Got the dogs, bird dogs loaded up in the back. But, uh, this year has been kind of a bust on birds. We had a cold spring. Chicks didn't do too well, so. I don't know, we haven't been picking up a whole lot of birds this year. A few grouse. Grouse are a pretty hardy bird. So we've been getting a few of those. But, uh, getting a little late start. Uh, letting the clouds clear off, warm up a little bit. But, uh, dog's been uh, cooped up all week. <laughs> Had a bit of a rodeo when I let them out of the kennel. They forgot all, all discipline and manners and ran through the neighborhood before I, they decide they're going to pay attention and uh, get kenneled up in the crates and back to pick up. But anyway, we're going to go down here and probably just be uh, hiking the woods with the shotgun and dogs and get some exercise. I don't know, I might, uh, might uh, go over the three, what is it, four items that uh, I always uh, pack with me let you know what they are so uh, hit that sub button give me a thumbs up like button hit that like button and uh, come along with me so I'm sure it'll be another another adventure anyway come along You ready? Hmm? I don't know. No. No. Be patient. No. That's my glove. Like I said, <laughs> they've been uh, in their kennels all week. We haven't been hunting. We'll go get out. We'll go see what we can find. You guys are all enthused, aren't you? It's been raining, so I'm gonna get the my gators on here. Nothing, right? We got nothing so far. We'll keep trying. Maybe we'll go on up here and uh, I'll talk about probably the number one thing you should have with you when you're out here hunting. Yeah, should we go talk about that? Let's find a spot up here. Maybe we'll chat about the number one thing, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. They should have with you. Let's go do that. We just got off a grouse, but uh, I didn't get a shot at him. Well, I got two shots over here, but he was flying pretty fast through the brush. We just got him up again. Same bird. Couldn't get a shot because this is what we're in. They're pretty cagey. He's obviously been shot at before, so. Yeah, let's go on down here, find a spot. We can talk about that number one thing you need to have with you at all times when you're out here hunting. Let's see what you got. Hmm. What you got in there, huh? Hey. I don't 
don't see anything. How come you're favoring that, huh? Come here. Well, she's been favored. Uh, you don't have anything? All right. I didn't see anything in there. Damn dog. All right, here it is. The number one thing you need to have with you. And that would be your wallet. With. With your hunting license. Right there, hunting license. And it wouldn't hurt to have a little cash in there as well. Number one thing. Wallet with your hunting license. Is you never know. Right, you never know. The fishing game warden's gonna pop out of the brush. Hey, I'm telling the story. Pop out of the brush. Tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, son, let me see your license. Watched a few videos about hunting gear and whatnot. They never talk about your wallet and your hunting license. I remember a long time ago, I don't know, I must have been, must have been, uh, I don't know, 14 years old or so. My dad and I hunting. Probably Christmas Eve, hunting chuckers on the Salmon River. Dad was always good about having a, having some kind of adventure cooked up. He was never one for sitting around the house, wasn't he? Anyway, we went up the Salmon River. Hey, I'm telling a story. I'm telling a story. Went up the Salmon River and. Uh, Walked up on the side of the mountain there, parked the rig, walked up on the side of the mountain, come all around in the rocks. I think we even got a couple chuckers that day. Because we were coming around the mountain, looked way down there in the river. Hey! Truck pulled up alongside us. Hey, be quiet. Pulled up alongside of us, fishing game warden. <laughs> My dad, he goes, uh, huh? Hey. hey, be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Dad, he says, well, let's mess with that guy a little bit. So it was kind of sunny, warm day. Sits down, leans up against the rock, pulls his hat down over his eyes. Promptly falls asleep. <laughs> After a while, he peeks out from underneath his hat and he goes, Game Warden's still down there? I'm like, yeah, he's still down there. He's, uh, he's watching us with binoculars. Dad said, well, I guess he is not going to be deterred. So, uh, headed down the, headed down the, Mountain there, game warden watching us. Dad turned around and said, By the way, you do have your wallet with your hunting license, don't you? And I was like, Yes, sir. Got my hunting license. Anyway, you know, we get down there, old game warden gets out of the pickup truck and he goes, All right, boys, let's see your hunting license. I pulled mine out of my wallet, showed it to him, and he's like, okay, son. And then he checked dad's, he initialed it. And he said, uh, you guys got any birds? I said, yes, sir, we got a couple birds. Showed him my birds, and he looked them over. And uh, he said, all righty then. Way he jumped in his rig and took off. Tell you what, if we hadn't had our hunting license, <laughs> he would have for sure wrote us a ticket. He waited there for quite a while. So he drove off down the river road. Dad said, he's kind of grumpy. And I was like, well, it is Christmas Eve, Dad. He waited down here a long time. He goes, yeah, suppose so. Suppose so. He thought he had a couple outlaws up here. Anyway, moral of the story. Have your hunting license, right? All right, let's go find a bird. Let's go find a bird. All right. Walking along here, I've been thinking about 
what may be my number number two item is I think my number two item that I pack with me while I'm hunting out here upland game birds would probably be right here in my side my side pocket and my pants that's my multi-tool saw me a little earlier one of the dogs had a thorn in his in her paw pull it out with my got it out with my hands but uh, you never know <laughs> I've pulled thousands of quills porcupine quills out of dogs before I don't know what it is about a porcupine that uh, bird dogs like but they seem to find them uh, I always have this you may need to re fix the fix the sling on the gun or something or other I don't know usually pulling thorns and and porcupine quills and cactus uh, thorns out of uh, out of dogs that's what I use that for so I always have a multi-tool with me number two item if I had to rank them that'd probably be my number two item but, uh, been a nice day birds are kind of sparse but uh, Taking a break here under this black locust tree. Probably some old homesteader planted it here. Looks like there's an old homestead right in here. There's some lilacs right there. So anyway, I don't know how they got here unless they were planted. Oh, yeah. Let's head on. Keep on heading. Maybe I'll share the number number three item I pack with me. Yeah. Right, let's keep looking for a bird. Ah. All right. So you're probably wondering, okay, what's this guy's third thing he carries? Yeah, it's really a no-brainer, the third item. Got it right here on my belt. Have yourself a pretty decent knife I'm not gonna endorse anything but uh, have a good knife with you make sure it's sharp this one is I could probably shave with that one if I wanted to but, uh, things you can do with a knife I don't know too numerous to expand on but Have yourself a decent knife with you. I've always packed a knife for, I don't know, as long as I can remember. <laughs> remember getting in uh, trouble a few times in grade school because I had a pocket knife on me. But, uh, that was back in the day, and uh, it, uh, teacher just took it away from me and uh, gave it back to me at the end of the day and told me not to bring it to class anymore. Anyway. Th times have changed. So. Well, let's, uh, let's get on back to the pickup truck, and maybe, maybe I'll reveal the fourth fourth item, four things that I got with me at all times, pretty much. Some people refer to it as your EDC everyday carry. I just say it's stuff that I carry with me. All right, uh, bird, I don't, like, I don't think we're gonna go get any birds today. I'm gonna get skunked, looks like. We don't have far to get to the truck. But, uh, that's what, uh, how bird hunting goes sometimes. But it was a good hike. Got these dogs some exercise, that was the main objective. Let's get on hey. back. Let's go. Get him up. Come on. Find me a bird.
No, go on. I don't have anything. Fourth item. Fourth item. That pack with me. Out. Got it right here in my hind pocket. Let me pull it out. No, go on. Go on. Don't have anything. I don't have anything. No, hey, there's nothing there. Right here, your bandana. I don't have anything in those pockets. Go on. Ooh. Nothing in the pockets. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Why do I carry a bandana? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey. Well. No, go on. Mm. Multiple uses for a bandana. Ooh, 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 ooh. They are. They like today, walk through wet brush, and wipe your gun down. Hey! <laughs> that dog there is a troublemaker. Drinking. Poured myself a shot of bird dog whiskey. My tin cup. She's go get a shot of it. Anyway, the bandana. Wipe your gun down. <laughs> Blow your nose. Make a tourniquet out of it. Band-aid. <coughs> Use these as a band-aid before. Mostly on dogs. They get cut. Got to stop the bleeding. Some dogs get cut pretty bad a time or two. Barbed wire fences, run through barbed wire fences. Fix a bandage for them. Wipe the sweat off your brow. your neck on a hot day, wet it down, keep yourself cool. Endless uses for a bandana. I always have one on me. Fourth item. Well, probably to get on back to town need to go to the car wash. <laughs> show you why here in a little bit so I don't get myself in trouble with the missus at home truck doesn't look too good right now a little little greasy getting into my spot here but, uh, we probably ought to get going oh let me let me finish this first mm. gummit, that is good Pecan whiskey, bird dog pecan whiskey. That is good stuff. Holy smokes. All right. So yeah, it was a little slimy getting into my spot here this morning. So we're not gonna hang around. We'll go, go to town, get this truck washed up. Like I say, before I get in trouble. So, and we just came came through that mud hole. I hope I can get back out it. We'll see. But uh, anyway, be sure to hit that uh, sub button, the like button. Come along with me on outdoor adventures, upland hunt, hunting trips. Never know what uh, these two dogs and I are going to get into. See you all later. All right, Dodge, don't fail me. Get me out of here. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, I ain't gonna have to call.
Call the wife, come get me. That'd be a good thing. That'd be a disastrous thing. Anyway, let's uh, let's get this pickup to the car wash and uh, wash away all the evidence. <laughs> yeah, we got mud. We got mud all the way around now. So anyway, let's get out of here. It's a good day, even though we didn't get a bird. I had fun, dogs had fun, we had a workout. And that was the whole point of the exercise. Follow along with me, let's go.